In honor of Black History Month, we pay tribute to a living legend, Joan Myers Brown. She's the founder of Philodenko Dance Company and School, and she's made it her life's mission to pave the way for black dancers. Well, I started dancing in high school, and you know, I came up in the time of segregation, so it was always been a fight to make sure that black dancers get opportunities. I studied under Joan Myers Brown, and growing up, I understood at an early age that the words black and ballerina were an oxymoron. There's a film that's called Black Ballerinas and one of the artistic directors of the company says they have to adhere to the aesthetic of the cultural uh, European picture of ballet that, but we said we want ballet to look like America. We want it to be diverse and integrated and, and beautiful like our country. But if you ever see a performance by a major company like New York City Ballet or Pennsylvania Ballet, you'll realize that there is not a lot of diversity. Joan Myers Brown gives a lot of credit to Misty Copeland. She's the first prima black ballerina for an international ballet company, American Ballet Theater. But she says ballet still has a long way to go. So the opportunities are still limited for our black girls. If you look at most ballet companies, if they do have a black person, it's a male dancer. So uh, we hope that we can open doors for black girls because there's certainly more than one Misty in this world. When I was trying out for the Pacific Northwest Ballet and some of my friends were, you go in, you get weighed in. They look for a certain body type. They look for how your hips function. There's a, a very strict, rigid formula they go after and it's hard to get to that point. Unfortunately, growing up and I wanted to be in a, a major dance company and the way my body started transforming wasn't conducive for their company. Everybody in the true black, white, Latino, you know, everybody wants to be the star. So unfortunately, ballet is subjective and it's always gonna rely on the director's decision on who is prettiest and who fits the mold. That's just part of ballet. But who they determines they pretty that and who, that's the problem. Who determines pretty? The whole thing is, it's art. And art is always subjective. With Misty, who doesn't have that typical ballerina form, um, a shape, her performances sell out. And, and they're just, and she's showing that you don't have to be the, the mold. Not every ballerina is Misty. Misty's spectacular. <laughs>